my name is Katie, and I work with Building Brains Together, a program that's run out of the Neuroscience Department at the University of Lethbridge, and today we're going to be discussing pretend play. So this activity has endless possibilities, but you'll want to have two children playing this, or you can also be one of the participants, and you're just going to come up with two roles for your children to play. So one of them could be a cook and the other one is a world famous food taster and they get to rate the concoction that's made. Or you could find some clothing item like a little vest and one child can wear this and be the canoe instructor and the other child can be learning how to paddle a canoe. You can also um, let the children create their own roles. You could print out a mask like this and let them create it and then they can be whatever they want as well. But essentially at the beginning, you're going to want to assign the roles and let one of the children take the lead role. So they're going to dictate what happens in the game as they play it out and they will explain their intentions for the game and the other child will try to listen and follow along as best as they can. And then after a few minutes of playing, say five or ten, then you will switch the roles and the child who is now um, who was once the leader is now the follower and vice versa. So you can come up with endless possibilities for this one. Um, and this has some great brain building benefits as well. As always, working memory is important as they remember what their roles are and what they're supposed to be doing. Um, and working memory is important in so many different things, remembering to clean their room or do any other tasks that they need to. Um, and this also is really important in following directions um, the child who's the follower has to listen to where the game is going to go and remember to play along the best that they can. Um, they'll also be able to stop and think before acting um, and so stop and remember what they're supposed to be doing and then act based on that. Um, additionally, listening and comprehension is really important to be able to understand where the game is going. And then finally, emotional control um, as they play, maybe if it's not going quite the way that they want it to, um, they'll learn to regulate that frustration and that's so helpful in many other areas of life um, to just be able to play it down a little bit when you're upset and self-regulate. So. There's so many fun possibilities with this one. You can create whatever worlds and characters you want. Um, and just remember that play builds brains.